All right, hello and welcome. This is our lower body workout. Uh, so for us today, I have a do not repeat. So no repeats, no boredom workout. We are going to need a mat and some dumbbells. There you go, I got a better view of my mat. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with a lower body warm up. Place your hands on your thigh, on your, on your waist, kick back and bend your knee forward. Switch sides. Well, somebody's balanced today. <laughs> All right, here we go, cross and open. All right, switch sides. We're going to squat for four. Four, squeeze. One more. Lunge back, reach up. Switch sides. Are right, you going to go side to side lunge here, right and left? Hold it. Turn, left fingertips down, right fingertips towards the ceiling. Straddle the front leg, get your legs a little closer, bend your knee, extend your knee. All right, we're going to stay down here. We're going to bring the leg in and then lunge back. One, two, three, one more, and four. Let's go all the way to the other side. Fingertips towards the ceiling. Straddle the front leg, step in a little closer. Bend your knee, extend your knee four times. One, two, three, and four. Now we're going to bring that knee in. One, two, three, and four. And let's go back to the center. Hop in or step in. Place your hands on your thighs for your cat and cow. Warming up the whole spine. Breathe in. Drop the belly. Tube bone goes up. Breathe out. Draw the navel to the spine. Chin to the chest. And then go in. And out. Two more. Last one. Roll it up. Roll your shoulders back. Opening up the hip. Stepping back. We're doing four times out, four times in. Here we go, switch, bring that in. One more each side. Last one. All right, we are ready to get started with this. Do not repeat uh, our first one. We're holding weights, most of them. Uh, I will be holding my 15 pounds for this one. So you're gonna have one foot forward, the other one back. As we lunge, we're gonna lift that front heel up. All right, so we are not counting reps today, we are timing us. And we are going to do 40 seconds. On those 20 seconds that we have in between, drink some water, get ready, switch weights, whatever you need. So pick up those dumbbells. All right, ready? Right foot forward, left foot back. Calf raising that front leg and go. This is it. You're gonna stay right here. There's not much going on. Keep that back knee bent. It looks very innocent, but you can tell. All right, now we straight those legs. We're gonna switch it up. Roll those shoulders back. Engage the core. Sink into that lunge. We're gonna lift up front here in three, two, one, and go. Twenty seconds. That's a small little movement here, but you can definitely feel that burn. Five, four, three, 
two, one, and time. Come on up. Now, if you do have a bench, we're going to keep going the same uh, way we just on a split squat, which is a static lunge. But if you do have a bench or a chair, go ahead and use it. You're going to just come down and up. Ready, set, and go. Here we go. Down and up. Place the weight on that front heel, but making sure that the knee doesn't go forward or you're coming down and your torso is slightly hinged forward at the hip. So I'm not bending my waist, I'm just slightly hinging forward, so I'm not straight upright, because when you go straight upright, then you uh, over arch that lower back. So you want to just slightly, not by much, pressing through that front heel is very easy to start pushing through the back foot. But really put all your weight on that front leg and time. Small little shifts, it makes a big difference. So let's go ahead and switch legs. So you might also be feeling a stretch on your quads on that back leg. And that's really normal, natural to feel that stretch. But you wanna feel that front quad working. Ready? And glutes. All right, come on, press into the front heel. Keep your eyes <laughs> focused straight ahead. Halfway. Ten seconds. Five, four, three. Two, one, and time. Oh, and shake it. All right, shake those arms. Now, getting a chair or a bench, we're going to do some bench sits. Now, if you don't have that, you're going to just sit on a bed, right, on your couch. You can do both legs or you can do one leg. All right, ready? I'm going to put this against the wall here. Set. And go. Maybe if you have something like this, a chair that moves around, if you have it against the wall. Uh, if you need to, place your heel to help you come up to a seated, a standing position. Last one. All right, we're gonna switch this up. Ready, set, and go. Oh, it's the left leg for me. So much more challenge. <laughs> And let's say this is easy for you. You can always hold on to a dumbbell. And also control. We got one more. Ah, time. Ah. That was fun. All right, we're going to pick up just one dumbbell right here. Bring it at chest level. You're going to tap forward, tap back, tap side. Ready? And go. All right, switch sides, go. Whoop. 
Last one. All right, and time. All right, you're gonna pick up two dumbbells. You're gonna place them over your shoulder. Then we're gonna do squat out. Nice and wide and deep. Ready? Set. And go. Bringing the hip down, keeping the chest elevated. <clears throat> keeping those elbows in. Now, my dumbbell is not really resting much, it's slightly just a little end of it, a little balance more than weight. <clears throat> One more. Yes. Time, time. All right, so we have some wall sits here. All we're gonna do is come to the wall. Put our back against the wall. Ready, set, and go. This is it right here. If this is too easy, you can have one leg up like that. Shoulders back. Yes. So you know when we look at someone, sometimes we have our minds play games and said, okay, that person has it together all the time. It's not true. Nobody does. So if you feel that way sometimes, just know that we are all on this journey together, going through all these different human emotions and challenges. Just making the best of every single day, yeah? Every single moment to be even more specific. The great masters say, if, uh, if you know how to handle this moment, you know how to handle eternity. All right, in time, that was a wisdom moment while we are doing a wall sit. All righty. Okay, so our next one, we have a stagger down the left. So we're gonna pick up the dumbbells. We're gonna have right foot for left foot back. Just step back, shoulders back, hinge at the hip. Bring the dumbbell just about mid shin and come back up. The knees a little bit bent. Ready? And go. Core tight. Squeeze your booty. All right, now we we'll switch sides. Left foot forward, right foot back. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. You feel that nice posterior chain work, glutes, hamstring. It's not about showing how flexible you are and coming all the way down to the floor with those weights. It's just really about keeping those shoulders back. I mean, if you really want to go deeper, you can go a little bit deeper, but as your torso is about 90 degree with the floor, you got one more. That's good enough. Oof. All right, so we're gonna bring one dumbbell to the floor for a one leg bridge. This one leg bridge can be done with your feet on the floor or with your foot on top of a chair or a bench. So if you, one leg is too much for you, you don't have to have any extra weight. Maybe if you're gonna use the bench because it's pretty challenging. So you have one foot up, the other leg that doesn't, that's not up, gets the dumbbell, and then you lift it up. Now, if this is challenged already without it, no weights. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, 20 seconds each side, get ready. Get set, and go. 
So I put my bench on top of my mat because it slides and it makes it like 10 times harder. One more. I right, switch sides, go. Squeeze that booty. All right, one more. All right, awesome. All right, so we're going to do a leg extension hold. So you can have your back, you're standing against the wall, left one leg up, extend your knee, and hold. Ready? And go. This is just an isometric hold. That means you're just holding that contraction. Your knees are not locked, but you're really focusing on squeezing. And my legs are falling down here. My leg is falling down. Five, four, three, two, one. Eh. All right, we got other side. Ah, lift it up. Ready, set, go. Come on, hold that contraction. Oh. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. That was not easy. We did it though. Okay, so we are coming down to all fours or tabletop, which is the same thing. All right, we're gonna bend the knees and we're gonna lift the leg up and down. Okay, that's pretty much it. Get ready, get set, lift it up, go. Now your toes are pointing down and we just really wanna bring the, the legs just up to uh, hip level. Just watch this, okay? So notice what you like you're doing. Let me show right leg. But maybe you're doing the left. So just notice what you like you're doing right here. All right, now same leg, I'd like for you to just step forward. Lift your chest up. Lift that knee off the mat. Keep it closed though. So you're gonna come down and then halfway up. Down and halfway up, ready? In five, four, three, two, one, and go. Halfway. Press through that front heel. Oof. Control. No knee slamming on that floor. Nice and control. Wait on that front heel. One more. All right, swing this leg back, extend your knees. We're gonna lift with the leg straight. Ready? Set and go, lift. Okay. 
Come on. All right, in 10 seconds, we're going to pulse. Pulse it up, 20 seconds. This is the last one on this leg. We're going to switch right after this one. Small little pulses. Small, small. Come on. 10 seconds. Toes pointing down. Four, three, two, one. And time. All right. Have 20 second break. Sit back on your heels. Stretch it out. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. All right, we got 10 seconds. Get ready to do that opposite side. Ready? Donkey kick and go. So every time I join, I am doing the donkey kicks like this. I always think and I I always tell my clients to think about the ceiling falling down like Indiana Jones, like the ceiling's dropping and you have to lift. So that's kind of the visual. You want to lift that ceiling with your heel. All right, we got one more. All right, and rest. Now, the same leg you're going to step through. And we're going to come up to that half lunge in less than 10 seconds. Now go ahead and tuck your toes in the back in five, four, three, two, one, and go. Just halfway and tap down. Make sure you're lifting from here. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, swing that leg back. Now knee extend it. Get ready. Get set. Kick it up. Now, if you're starting to arch the lower back, that means you're lifting too high. Should lift until you feel that nice little contraction on your glute muscle. Bow, sit up, go. Small little ones. Don't point your toes, keep it dorsiflex. That means you're pointing your toes towards your chin, not out like a dancer, okay? 10 seconds. All right, and time. Sit back, stretch it out. All right, let's come on up here, downward dog, and walk towards your hands. Roll it up. Pick up one dumbbell. We're gonna do a heel elevated squat. All right, we're going to squat down and then come on up. Ready, set, and go. Now, you can place your hands behind your temples right here. Just fingertips and come on up. You can have your hands on the front for balance if you prefer. Kind of hold it on the bottom for a second though. Core engaged. Ten seconds. Now 
and time. All right, so next one. You can have one dumbbell on the front or two, that's fine. The 15 pounds feels so heavy to hold it that way for me. So we're gonna do a backward lunge into a warrior three. A backward lunge into a warrior three. All right, so the warrior three, you wanna make sure the toes don't turn out to the side that they're pointing down. Ready, set. And go. So 20 seconds each one, and these are the last one. Switch. Last one, and time. Ah, great job, all right. So pick up your chair. You're gonna sit on your chair. You're gonna cross your legs and bring the chest down, hinging at the hip. Don't just lean forward with your bending at the waist, hinging at the hip. Same leg, extend in front of you, reach for your pinky toe. Across, hinge it forward. Extend, reach. All right, coming up, you can hold on or put the top of your foot into that leg, on top of the foot into the chair, squeeze your glutes. Switch sides. All right. You're gonna finish it up with three deep breaths here. Here you go, breathe in and breathe out. Two more in and out and last one. All right, great job. Thank you so much for joining me here. Don't forget to stay for fire. We are coming back with our hit workout, so don't miss that out. See you soon.